I believe that we need um, a more preclinical information uh, for from rodent models. I think we can still use the available models. I think we need to improve the models. Uh, we need to uh, display better the um, changes uh, or the risk factors we observe in humans, for example, obesity, diabetes, blood pressure, alcohol consumption, reduced physical activity, uh, mild brain trauma, which all play into you know, the overall risk to develop Alzheimer's disease. Then on the other side, we have learned so much from GVIS analysis about various uh, gene polymorphisms, which are a risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. And many of those um, um, are in genes that encode for innate immune pathways, which means that we have to uh, find out how these are increasing the risk by which precise mechanism at which time uh, during the course of disease and so i think this is a lot of information we are still missing and um, we need to improve the models we have on the animal side we need to do more research on human derived ipsc cells and do more clinical research in order to um, identify um the course of neuroinflammation in our patients. Um, we still use uh, one of the same pad ligand mostly. Um, we haven't developed a lot of uh, new pad ligands um, or uh, targets for pad ligands um, uh, to address this question. And I think there is research needed at various levels.